Ladies and gentlemen, oh boy, it's the final episode. At last, the finale awaits us. Yes, oh, after last time shenanigans, I don't I know. <laughs> I think shenanigans too small a word. <laughs> I don't even know what's going to happen anymore. Well, the... there's only one way to find out, isn't it, James? Yep. Let's do it, guys. The final episode awaits us. Let's dive in. Steal yourselves. James, I'm scared. <laughs> Put your courage to the sticking place. Oh. Especially after last week, we find out about Symes and his family, and they, the assholes put his address up. I'm still mad about that. Yeah, that's... Like, I was re-watching the episode after it went up, and I'm just like, wow, I sound so angry. <laughs> that was genuine. To be fair, I think it's one of those... That's one of those things if you're just like, oh, wow, fuck you, dude. There are, there are some... There are certain things that stick with certain people, and they feel like it sets them off, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a definitely fair one to be pissed off about, because that has dire repercussions for a lot of people. Yeah, it, and it, it's something that's hap that happens in real life, you know. Mm -hmm. People get hurt. Ooh, oh, oh, I'm not ready. I'm is, the not logging, ready. is the logging in thing meant to take this long? I don't think it is, but I think it's just preparing us going, oh, let's let's make you guys wait a little while longer. It's the game's, it's the game's moment going, you sure you want to do this? You sure? You sure? You sure? <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Under the spreading chestnut tree. Oh! You're new- Oh! Oh, I know who you are! Catherine oh. Delacroix! We meet at last! Yes! I was actually guessing that after what happened in the last episode, that Symes would no longer be like our quote-unquote mission control. I was thinking that, but I, did, I didn't think it was going to be Catherine Delacroix. Yeah, that's because, surprising. Because, she, for those who don't remember, she's high up in the government, like she's one of the top honchos, so... If they, she might have had to get involved, considering, you know, the fact that the Orwell system got hacked, and one of their employees' personal info got leaked. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Somehow I get the feeling she's going to be even more, like... <laughs> I don't think she's even going to hide her just yeah, like, contempt so for us. Yeah, she's going to be so much, like... Symes at times was a bit like, yeah, I'm so much better. I've got a bit of a stick up my ass. But, like, he, he, was, he was a normal guy. I get the feeling with her, she's just going to be, like, you know... Cruel. She's not... <laughs> yeah. Well, not cruel necessarily. You know what I mean. Yeah. Just... I can't think words today. <laughs> Why English so hard? I didn't want to say bitch, because I felt... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Good morning, investigator. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do a different voice, I'm just going to use the Symes voice, which is going to be weird. Since you have the most powerful investigative tool at your disposal, I suspect you already know who I am. Yeah, we. I kind of didn't stop them defacing you a few episodes ago. Actually, I can't read. <laughs> I can't read what your name says. Wait, if you can't read, how have you managed to get this far? Uh. Oh, wow, she's... <laughs> wow, three sentences later. You, on the other hand, have been mediocre so far. I bet this dialogue changes depending on um, the how choices. How well you've been doing, yeah. yeah. You could not save the circle more, but at least got the prime suspect. You'll do better. Oh god, imagine if we actually let Nina escape. Oh god, can you imagine? She'd be like, why are we still hiring you? Why are you still here? I will be your new advisor in this case. This has become far too important to leave the case to the advisor with an exposed identity. Uh, Miss Delacroix, can I just ask, is Symes okay? Oh, it's okay. He said, they say it here. Symes is well, but no longer fit to work on Orwell. Moving forward, we will not speak about him again. Oh, oh, actually, I take that back. That doesn't sound very good. That sounds menacing. Oh god, they don't. You don't think they got rid of him, do you? Oh god, that's the language is 
hinting that they just got rid of him. Like, yeah, made like, him disappear. You could interpret it as such. It's sort of like, hey, Mr. Simon, would you mind coming round here behind this barnyard? Oh, yeah, sure. What's back here? <laughs> Look at the pretty rabbits. Oh, Jesus. With yesterday's so-called revelation about Orwell's sympathizers, this terrorist group has taken to the streets. We need to show all of the nation Orwell was keeping them safe. We won't allow some fools to trample on everything we have achieved. We must get rid of the imposter pretending to be Abraham Goldfells. Find out who did it and where they are hiding. Uh, Miss Delacroix, his actual name is Gumfer Arold at this point. Plot twist, Goldfells is still alive, but he's become a literal ghost in the machine. <laughs> That's going to be the twist. Goldfells' ghost has possessed the internet, and it, he's also posing as Initiate. Initiate is an AI. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, in the reader, Joseph Langley's police database report, and in the listener, we actually have Gunther Aron's, I'm going to guess is actually his mail on his computer. I'm gonna get. I think we should do Joseph Langley first because it just looks like it's probably just the quick one. Right then. I re I bet this. I bet this wouldn't have popped up if we didn't get Langley arrested pre in the last episode. Yeah. I like that. I'm liking that it's actually it's just influencing everything. Oh shit. Just loads of notification noises came up at once. There's Mr. Langley. <laughs> Again, not look, not looking like some of his other photos. God, he looks so miserable. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it. <laughs> Judging by the achievement we got for arresting him, I think he has a reason to be upset. Yeah, you said that the achievement suggests like, what was it? An unlawful arrest, implying that we were wrong and that he wasn't funding Nina. Yep. Apparently he was just giving to charity and he's actually just a oh. really lovely bloke. Oh lord. Did we ruin his life? <laughs> I think we've ruined a lot of lives, Michael. I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's why. Oh shit. So we got... Hmm got quite a few mail for quite a few different people including Nina guys Nina's dead as much as I wish she I wasn't I, I think I think that's just what her, these are just emails that these people have received so someone sent this email to Nina even yeah. though you know, dead it's probably just a group email thing because it said the it says thought must gather once again so it's probably just sent it out to all of the thought members be that's they living true. or dead Right, we're gonna. I'm gonna check the first email that was up before all of this started. Oh, it's the uh, the email from before. The bombs are not meant to kill. Because sure, that's how bombs work. God, I hate being on a delay. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I just want to click on all of these, and I was like, ah, wait a second, these emails are from Gunter Ahrens. Yep. So yes, yeah, someone someone is using his identity to bring everybody together. Which is weird, considering he appeared in the obituaries, and it's, I think Initiate showed it. There is some massive conspiracy thing going on around, going on around here. Yeah. Members of Fort, my dear friends, as you've all experienced already, we are being besieged by the government. They have denounced us, called us terrorists, and turned the public against us. This will stop today. Their days are about to come to an end. I have a plan, but for this to work out, we must meet like we did in the old days, when we had our meetings in Cafe Chestnut. And now the episode title makes sense. Yep. <laughs> we will have a conference call at 4pm sharp, because I am well aware that a meeting in person won't work out for us. You need not fear surveillance, all has been taken care of. I will contact you, get in a safe position, be ready. Oh. You don't You don't think Initiate is like, posing as Goldfells slash Aaron's? Maybe. And like, playing both sides? 
trying to ruin both the government and Orwell. Uh, and like um, he, he's pulling some Joker from the Dark Knight shit. <laughs> oh god! Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> oh, I'm... a gathering. We know Abraham Goldfields is dead. Someone must be impersonating him. This is as clear as crystal. Yes, that's yeah. what we've been discussing. <laughs> We must act swiftly and collect as much evidence as possible before this gathering commences. Fort is certainly up to no good. As you know, processing data chunks is time consuming. I would say we have time for roughly 20 data chunks. Be considerate. Oh shit. Wait, what? We have a t we have a data limit. Oh shit. Now the game is actually saying you can only Oh my god. Whoa. This is where it matters the most now. Oh no! We can't just add whatever we want now willy-nilly and hope some of it's important. We need to specifically think which of the shit we're going to find is most important. I bet this determines how, what kind of ending you get. You know there's some good ending, bad ending, neutral ending shit involved. Oh, oh god. Michael, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, let's, this is new, the ghosting one, so let's do that first. From Marker, a whole new character introduced in the oh, last God. episode. We don't need new characters. <laughs> oh, I bet, I bet this is um Harrison's girlfriend. Oh, I think it is. Yeah, because she says you and me we're done. Okay, don't add that. We no, don't I'm care not... about that. No, no, I'm not gonna add that. You must think I'm stupid. First, you must tell me where you were going because you need to go. So now it's like you don't answer my phone. So I called Pears asking for you, and she told me you were at Cyber Cafe Chestnut yesterday more evening. That sounds important. We should add that. Yes. Uh, so we got to add that to Harrison's email. So he was there. Ah, we got a related document out of it. This is where Harrison O'Donnell did his dirty work. Probably thinking we would not be able to track him down. We will track him down. Ooh. I have gone through the information we have on the remaining suspects regarding the impersonation of Abraham Goldfells. He predicted the bombings, this alone makes him suspicious. We have no idea why he hid the post on the Fort Brog and his timeline. We are yet to clarify why he would frequent a drugstore so often. Survival supplies, perhaps? Why would he have two health insurances? That is a point, we, we never did find out about that, did we? No, we didn't. Oh, everything's I... playing together. Oh god, I bet this would all change as well, depending on what information we found out. And what we added, because we could just ignore some of it. Yeah. But we... I just kept adding everything. <laughs> <clears throat> it is apparent that Harrison O'Donnell might well be part of the bombs and bombings. He is probably the one impersonating Goldfells. I want you to prove this and lock him away for good. I... Don't get me wrong, I dislike him as well, but... Do we yeah, have the proof? <laughs> Harrison's a douchebag, but I really don't think he's clever enough to, no. to form some kind of conspiracy. He's too stupid to be a bomber. Unless that's all part of the plan. <laughs> Can you imagine? It turns out this is all just a front. Yes. So this is the Cyber Cafe Chestnut. Right, I'm assuming we're going to have to like, try and find the address. Right, these are the hosts, Persephone, Founder and Boss, Ahmed, Rattlesnake. It's pronounced Persephone, James. So, yeah, I know, I know, I, I bet, as soon as I said it, I was like, I said that wrong. <laughs> Mar oh, so there's Marker. Wow, we are re really, in the last episode, we're going, yep, this is Marker. Oh, okay. Wicked witch. It turns out she's responsible. <laughs> she's the true villain. Oh, and of course, Harrison's a bloody honourable host. Former. I actually remember, just to go on a little bit of a tangent, because uh, I mentioned in the previous episodes that uh, me and my mum watched um, Lewis, which is, you know, a, a mystery drama show on ITV, and I, I vividly remember there being one episode where it turned out that the killer was a character who had, like, maybe five minutes of screen time and less <laughs> than five lines of dialogue. <laughs> Which was such bullshit. Ameri I've noticed a lot of like American crime shows pull that one a lot. I hate it when they do that. It's real. It's just like, really? We got 
no development. It's like, here's a character we've barely seen, it turns out they're the killer. That's not satisfying in the slightest. No. Do you think former admin is important? I don't, I don't know. know. I, don't, I don't think so. We can go, I think we can go onto their pages. Yes, we can. Load user. Aha! He has an ID. He, we got his ID. Ah, that, yes, that is useful. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Because now we can go on the insider. The Cash. Ah, oh, yes, I love that band. Right, browser. Where is my phone? Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, so he's lost his phone? And he was actively looking for everything on bit on Symes. You can't see it, but I'm flipping him off as hard as I can. Yeah, I I'll join you. I, I don't think that's useful, the web search for Benjamin Costigan. No. That, doesn't, that doesn't help us with anything. But I reckon his... That phone web, number? That's a, yeah. Or whatever it is. That could be useful, because then we can get into his phone, couldn't we? I began to his phone, or at least like track it. Maybe. Right back. Maybe so. Maybe oh. somebody nicked his phone. You called it, oh. Michael. That's his phone. So we can go. I didn't know we could go on phones on this. <laughs> episode five. You're doing so much, and it's the last episode. So, I'm gonna quickly look on like the other ones as well, just to make sure there's nothing else. Ah. Nope, still no idea why he's doing Life Trust and the other ones. Oh! Oh! Stupid delays! Covering family members. Oh! So that's why he's got another one. Do you think that might come in handy? Leave it for now, I think. Yeah, leave it for now and we'll come back to it. Because if... here's the thing, though. We're focusing all our attention on Harrison, but, like, if we spend all our time adding data chunks on him, like... It, it will make sure... It'll be like, oh, yes, I... it's Harrison. It's like... I know Delacroix is all like, oh, yeah, he d he's clearly doing it. But it's like, dude. <laughs> like... It's one of those of, do you really think it's him, or is it just... Or is the government just trying to use him as a scapegoat? Granted, he'd make a good scapegoat, because he's an asshole, but still... Ah, we've got Juliet here as well. This was from last year. This was obviously before they really properly met. Yeah. And he still keeps it? Dude. Get over it. You need to move on, man. Yeah, this is... <laughs> they actually kept this, like, even after they broke up. Do you think that email address may lead to something important with Juliet? Or because it's an old email address, it might not come in handy. I don't know, because it's to a Seligan University email, and she's not at the university anymore, is she? So no, but leave it for now. Let's just yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh god, I hate this. Damn you all! <laughs> <laughs> this is the. It's like the whole guy's like, ah, oh, you... have you been enjoying picking up all the information? Well, now you've got a limit. No. <laughs> Damn it! Now it's like an actual game. Oh no! Fuck it! No, Harrison's guilty. Fuck you. <laughs> Douche! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Can you edit that in? Can you edit that in post? Like the, the douche just being blasted onto the picture with the with the poof. <laughs> I will actually try and do that to get that work. Let's see if there's anything is trash. <laughs> oh look, I found all his good personality traits. <laughs> Yeah, this is him basically going wah, wah, cry, cry. Yeah. Nothing important. Good um, thing he didn't post this. I think he must have realised at the last second. Actually, maybe I shouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm really worried because I... Do photos... Yes, I think photos oh, do no. count. Oh, no. I think we mom. found what that second life insurance policy is for. Oh. Oh. 
damn it, it's that point in the story where the douchebag character reveals a redeeming quality. <laughs> I hate it when that happens! <laughs> it's fucking Sakura from Duncan Rumper 3 all over again. Sakura all over again. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. He's still got Juliet on. A, a very like, creepy one, like, I'm watching you while you sleep, which... Ugh, dude. Don't do that. Well, well, when you're in a relationship with the person, it's maybe okay, but when you're not in a relationship, you should have deleted that shit a long time ago, man. Yeah. A long ass time ago. Harrison's like, but I learned I learned all my dating tips from Edward Cullen. Yeah, that was your <laughs> that was your first mistake, Harrison. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we actually go for their messages. God, I can already tell this episode is going to be so long. Yep. Too much to look through. <laughs> oh, and such a time limit. We're going to be so careful. Oh, apparently he now lives with his mum. Or maybe they. She lives in the trailer and he's living in the trailer <laughs> with her. Orange juice? What, do you live with your mother? She lives with me. <laughs> I don't think we need to add that. No. Not important. See, now knowing that the life insurance policy is for his mum, I'm really struggling to believe that he could potentially be our culprit. I don't think he is. I, I... Harrison, Harrison is many things. A bomber, he is not. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, he is a complete arsehole. But arsehole doesn't equal evil. Oh, I'm looking through his messages with his girlfriends. Oh dear. Yep, there's nothing except for that one. Any interesting contacts? Ah! We've got another Juliet Carrington one. I think that might be important. Yeah, it might be worth getting her mobile number. Good. Keep an eye on her as well. Oh. Oh, and there's Cassandra's ones flagged up as well. But I don't want to use another data chunk yet. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I'm really worried. I wonder if the game's going to end with, like, um, you need to pick who we should arrest. Oh, and no. I could totally imagine this game doing that thing where you don't find out who the actual culprit is unless you get it right. Probably. Or oh, hell, it might not even do that. It might do a really dick move where it just leaves it completely ambiguous. Oh, like don't game, do that one. The game never explains who's the real culprit. Oh, no. Which I kind of hope it doesn't do that. I'm not... This is a personal thing. I'm not fond of ambiguous endings. Sometimes they can work, but with something like this, I feel like it would just be a massive middle finger to the player. You have to really work hard to make it work. Yeah. And you're walking a tightrope the whole time. Should I add... Cassandra Watergate's mobile number as well? For the time being, no. Okay. I don't think it's useful at the moment. Victor Rosen. Why does that name sound really familiar? Isn't that the name of Juliet's boss? I think it is. At least we haven't had yeah. any conflicting data chunks yet. Yeah, oh god, can you imagine? Oh god. At some point. <laughs> so Juliet's getting a call from her boss. Something yeah. tells me this is not going to end well. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, her, her, her boss has been tracking her. To, to be fair, considering the, considering, you know, the, the government. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, she's in the shit. That number seems important. There's two, there's two things. One, there's the number, her 
mobile phone ID. Ah, so we can get into her. Oh mobile my phone. god, you could just hung up on Vic on her boss. Whenever shit's going down, like it's important enough for Juliet to just pretty much go, nope, bye. Screw you, I'm going home. Oh wait, I'm already home. You were here the yeah. entire weekend, that's what the tracker says, but no one authorized you to do so. Interesting. But, yeah, we'll, we'll do the phone number for the time being. Because I should open up a new yeah. area. Yep. Her phone desktop. Oh. Oh, she was kind of close to, um, to Gunther. Well, yeah, I could imagine, like... Hmm. Okay. Oh, Abraham worked at Rosen Tech. Also, why does he call him a creep? That's what I'm wondering. Like, does he know something about him? And she I'm... really flares oh, at him. Oh, she he touched a nerve. Wait, what's that last one? You'll see. I'll make you, you see. see. That's that's never a good sign. Uh, Juliet, are you okay? <laughs> That's concerning. It's like that one Simpsons when both Sideshow Bob and his brother get arrested. But I saved the children's lives. I'm a hero. Tell them they'll live to regret this. You'll live to regret this. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now I sound crazy. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's actually really concerning how quickly she flared up. Okay, oh, oh, that's the end, so let's go this way then. Stay for three awesome days, you must stay for three. Yeah, nothing on that one. Oh, this is with Miss Watergate. Oh, Juliet recommended the Freedom Plaza route. This was this must have been like because Freedom Plaza was where it all started. Yeah, <laughs> where many years ago, at the beginning of this Let's Play, this is where it all began. Oh, hang on a second though, because the conversation yeah says afterwards that um. Yeah. It suggests that Cassandra is afraid of the Freedom Plaza area. This might be sometime after the assault. Maybe. Leave it for now. I don't think it's relevant. Come back to it. Uh, da, 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 da. Gallery. Again, I don't want to add any photos because I get I get the feeling they're going to be data chunks as well. Yeah. There's, there's no. There's, there's really no point adding them because they're just portraits. Yeah. Oh. Quo tracking, displaying locations of the last 24 hours. Some of these are definitely familiar. Yeah, they're all. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, I hope you've been paying attention. <laughs> yeah, the, it, the, the game's suggesting that these are all possible hideouts because these are the places that she's been to for the last 24 hours. Yeah. It's, again, it's the, I've made this joke twice already, but I'm going to make it again. This is the game going, guess. Take a guess. Ah, she had Goldfell's phone number. Is there really any point calling it? No one's going to answer. Unless the phone... It's a home number It's a home number as well, so you can't hack it. Hmm. They may have different phones in the future. I don't know how... Not even that far away. Um, right. So I think we kind of got all of the um, the information at the moment. Oh, no, wait. Is there a new... Ah, there's a new session with, Jer uh, with Juliet. Okay, Harrison, what have you got to say? 
I apologize if we've been like rather quiet this episode so far, but it's just the stress. So. Yeah. <laughs> when when suddenly the game adds a limit, it's like, oh god, no. Why did you leave Apes? Oh, oh yeah, Juliet, Juliet's having a massive go at him for exposing Symes. Good. will be gone forever once they get us, just like Symes. Where was he this whole time? Dead. But the thing is that they don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> don't hide anywhere you have been in the last 24 hours. That's probably going to be important because that means that whole thing yeah is every single one is going to be important so i think i'm going to add that yeah a useful hint if you encounter any hints to hide at locations be sure to validate them by checking where they have stayed before first right my damn phone is gone I think, yeah, this is just uh, the same emails again. Yeah. So I'm just going to quickly e go over them. Everyone connected with Thor to receive this email. Thing, thing is, though, if you think about it, Nina is dead, Langley's in jail, yeah. Juliet and Harrison are the only ones they're going to be able to attend. Yeah, Cassandra's yeah, Cassand bit... still in as well. Maybe this would have changed as well if um, we didn't get Langley arrested and if Nina survived. Maybe. Oh dear, initiate. Damn you, Orwell, with your replay value. <laughs> knock, knock. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I'm really regretting telling you to put that pug profile pic in now. Because <laughs> I should be terrified, but it's just like... <laughs> A pug with sunglasses. The dog did it. The dog was the mastermind. <laughs> God. Why? What do you want? That's a good question, actually, because no one knows. Oh, don't forget, Initiate said that he was a Thought member already. Yeah. Unless he was just saying that to mess with Harrison. God, I don't even know anymore. Maybe he did. He was doing it to mess with Harrison. You helped dox this cost again. Yeah, we kind of knew that. I don't think that's important because we already kind of knew that. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> he did say that it was it was extremely difficult to even get that much information, or to even to hack Orwell that well in the first place. Yeah, and he even said he couldn't do it the same way again. Oh, she shocked him with Abe is back. Here's the question. I don't even know anymore. Cause <laughs> I don't know how... I don't know what Initiate knows. No for one I know, knows. Like, again, this is, this is just a text conversation. So, for all we know, Initiate could be like, Oh, Abe is back? I had no idea. Or he could be, he already knows Abe is dead. And he's just, like, playing along. That's what I think, because I swear it was him that put up the that sent in the obituary. And this I'm wildly wrong. <laughs> and this shit's got the right idea. Sounds like a trap. trap. <laughs> it's because it is. Your way, I will. Oh, I d yeah, I I wouldn't trust that email. Right, so I think uh, we've gone through... Unless uh, we can go through some of the other hosts. Can we go See, through... I, 
I love it when story when I, I don't know where a story is going, but at the same time I hate it because I don't know what's gonna happen, <laughs> and I'm scared. Yep. I'm really nervous. I'm just going through the host just to make sure there's no information on theirs. Okay, Persephone. <laughs> Can you imagine? It turns out it's Ahmed. <laughs> this, this one guy who we've not seen at all throughout the entire game is the mastermind. We just got to a listener and an insider. Juliet's been looking in a browser history. Gunther has sent a new email out. The open door. God, what is going on? Oh, he sent it to initiate. Wait, what? Yes, he just sent this to initiate. Initiate. I need to apologize to you for remaining silent for such a long time. I have been working out a plan in hiding. Today, I need to call upon your help to make it happen. That doesn't sound good. Okay, I think we need to add that. Yeah, because that doesn't sound good at all. Um, but here's the thing, though. Like, we... We've almost been running under the impression that Initiate is playing both sides. But this implies that... In, we've also been theorising that Initiate might be the bomber and he's playing everybody. But this implies that he's not the bomber. Yeah. That maybe his, his intentions are genuine. That he that is he, trying to get to the maybe, bottom of it. And maybe he's just another pawn of whoever it is that's posing as Goldfell slash Aaron's. Or, and here's another possibility, and I admit this is a bit of a leap in logic. Go Who's on. to say that initiate, knowing the all, knowing how the Orwell system works, isn't using Aaron's email to send an email to themselves to make it look as if they're two separate people? That's actually a good theory. It would like cover their tracks. Yeah. And we again, we know Gunther Aaron's is dead. Unless that was a fake. Unless it was a fake obituary. I'm calling it Ghost! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're down to 13 data chunks. Can you imagine? Like, he walks out, it's like, Goldfells? We thought you were dead. Actually, I faked my death. How? Well, it was via a very convoluted and complicated manner, and we don't have time to explain it. <laughs> oh, God. So they're going to try and attack Orwell once again. Well, let them come. Oh god. Cry having a let slip the dogs of war. Okay, let's look at this browser list. T time for some epic hacker v hacker action. <laughs> oh! She went on a webmail. A Stelligan University webmail. So, so she does still use it. So maybe that uh, email address might be important. Maybe. Okay, that's um. Crap, now we need to find it again. Yeah, now you need to find it again. <laughs> right. As we know now, the blue bits are where there's still data chunks left. And I think it was in ha Harrison's um, computer. Uh, da, da, da. And it was in... Yes, there it is. I've just noticed that Langley's uh, PC is now offline. Is it? Hold on, let me Did check. Not... I didn't see that. Let me have a quick look. Oh crap, it is. As is Nina's. Well, Nina's makes sense. She turned it off before we hacked, hacked her. It, but Langley's but... like... Did they get destroyed in a scuffle, maybe? What scuffle? <laughs> Getting arrested. They said... yeah, yeah, but his thing said that like, even though he protested, he did not physically resist. True. Hold on. No, there's nothing new there. Again, I saw the red stuff. Oh, is it something new? No. Right. I think we've gone through all of the stuff. So now we just need to go through all of the blue bits. One of the main things we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen, is we're trying to find information on where they are or where they're going to be. Because not all of them are going to be at the uh, the meeting if they're smart. And, well, Harrison isn't that. Have we added the cafe's actual address to the system? I don't think we've had it yet. Huh. It hasn't appeared yet as well as well, I it should Well, it should be on the page, surely. Nope. It's not on the lobby page. It's not on uh, the hosts. 
Like, how the hell are we supposed to find this bloody place? <laughs> like, I'm not even saying that. It's just like a game thingy. I'm just like, what good is it? It's like, oh, do you want to meet up at the ch Cyber Cafe Chestnut? Sure, where is it? I don't know. It's like secret cinema. You have to find it. Oh, God, really? Dank Frank? Ugh. No, it's D4NKFR4NK. No idea what that means. <laughs> No, Dank Frank is the mastermind. <laughs> Dank Frank? Only someone as twisted as he could concoct a plan such as this. Right, so I think we could... Right, that, uh, the bit that was on the host, which was for uh, Harrison, I don't think is important. It was just basically, yeah. basically saying he was a former host. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, so... And there's no other blue bits on... The reader. So I think for the moment we can officially rule out the reader as being important. So everything that is important now is on the listener or the insider. Now to find those important things, that's a different thing entirely. So let's scroll through each one and let's see. Again, you have the dots costigan, that's not important, so we can skip that. Also, by the way, I'm loving the music in the background. It's like proper bringing up the tension. Uh, again, I can't listen to the music yeah. since I'm watching this via stream, but I will be sure to check it out once the episode is actually loaded onto YouTube. You'll like it. You'll like it. I'm surprised there'd be no conflicting data chunks yet. Maybe the game's like, okay, we're already limiting them to only 20. I think we should give them, like, a bit of levity. <laughs> Right. She was in the Rosen office, despite not being ordered to do overtime hours. Hmm. Michael, do you yeah. think we should add the uh, uh, Cassandra's phone at this point? At this point, maybe. Because it may give us some more information. Well, actually, here's the thing. Scroll down to Cassandra's email. Uh, to Cassandra's email? Okay. Yeah. Uh, did she re did she receive the same email as everybody else? Um, I'm not getting her in listener. Oh, wait. oh yeah, there there she is. Um, no, she didn't. Then maybe she's not worth investigating. Maybe. I'm just co trying to cover all the bases. Yeah, I, th I feel like if she had received the email, then maybe it might be worth following up. But if she's not been invited to the gathering. Like, the, I, I highly doubt the game's gonna go, it was Cassandra the whole time! <laughs> yeah, that person you arrested in the first episode, you were like, oh, that's a red herring. No, she's actually it. Right, again, none of these ones in the listener sound important, so I think it's all gonna be in the devices, in the insider. I'm wondering if we like put in Benjamin Costigan's stuff, maybe we'll get information on Symes? Uh, I get the feeling if we uh, try to add stuff about Symes, like Delacroix would just shut us down. Maybe. That's you remember, good... she, to she, to she told us he no longer exists. That's actually a good point. If we try to, if we like try to start adding stuff about it, she'd probably be all like, the hell are you doing? That's a good point, yeah. Uh... Da -da -da -da. There's their two phone numbers. Quo tracking. As we've already said, she said don't go to any place within the last 24 hours, and that's all of this. Yeah. So we know they're not going to be that's, in any of that's those That's clever. Places. Can you imagine the poor bastard who added all five of these going, okay, just to cover all the bases, then, re then listening to that conversation and going, oh, no, <laughs> I just wasted five of my uploads. Again, not. Awesome. Maybe it's worth putting in Goldfels' number? Maybe. I, t I was umming and ahhing over it, but... I, I, I think his is more important than Cassandra's, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe we'll be able to hack into oh, his shit. machine? I don't know. What? Goldfels what? is dead. What do you expect to happen on his phone line? 
I don't know. Stop yelling at me. I was following the voice in my head. What did okay. you say? <laughs> Nothing. We've, we've had one. We've had one where we're like, the game's gone. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you are a dumbass. <laughs> We could try calling the number. <laughs> Maybe long. working at Frozen Tech is important. Maybe that'll give us like some of his company details. <laughs> I don't know. I get the feeling if we add that, she's just going to go again, dead, not helpful. <laughs> but we might get information like before he died. Like now I, I, now I really want him to be a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ha, ah, fuck you, Delacroix. It was important. Feck it, I'm gonna add it just in case we might get something out of it. I will live with the consequences. You're not supposed to follow him, but I got information! I got information! Oh no. Not again. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. The game decided to. couldn't take the stress anymore. Even the game's like, I don't wanna know what happens! <laughs> Have you ever done that, James, actually, with any sort of, like, a film or a book or something where you can't bring yourself to watch the ending or find out what happens, so you just stop? I think I did that with a TV series once. Oh, great. Can you remember which one it was? <gasps> oh, my God! Whoa, 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 whoa! Demiurge. Again? <laughs> Is this the twist? Is the twist going to be that whoever Goldfeld <laughs> is posing as is concocting a scheme to bring about the apocalypse. Goldfells is actually Yaldabaoth. What a twist! Yeah, he was in charge of the Demiurge project. But here's the thing though, what is the Demiurge project? I get the feeling this is important. I actually do think this is important. <laughs> Screw you, Delacroix, I don't care what you say, I'm adding this shit. Yeah, feck it, I'm adding it, because I want to find out what the fuck the Demiurge is. Oh! Turns out it has nothing to do with anything. Oh, she does not like that. I command you to no longer dig around in Abraham Goldfell's past. Ooh! Someone's not happy. I... Shut up, Scully. Oh shit, she's threatening me now. I could easily turn you into a target person for disobeying me. You would not want that, do you? I think it's meant to be say, won't you, but okay. <laughs> I miss signs. <laughs> what is strange, though, is that Juliet requested material on this demiurge. Oh, so, oh, okay. It's like, stop adding information about Goldfells is not necessary. Though, actually, this is super interesting. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. We know Juliet is really close to, to Gunther. We know that he originally worked on Demiurge. So that's, that might actually be really freaking important. Are you implying that Juliet is the one posing as Goldfells? Considering how close she was with him? Maybe? It's what it feels like. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! What the hell? I developed the so-called ethical codex for a project codenamed Demiurge, which has been oh! renamed as Orwell! Oh my god! Orwell is Demiurge! I love this twist! Michael, we are yelled about! Fuck you, Delacroix, this isn't important! I have proof for everything I am about to write cloned to a device with the UID PC. Oh, we are putting this in. So, Goldfells is the one who created Orwell. Oh, 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 oh my god! Ugh. Yeah, Delacroix, we know. So you know it now. Yes, we hired him for Orwell. This is his doing. It was me who wanted him on the project in the first place. To get things st right with Orwell, to follow ethical standards. Bullshit. Ah, yes. Bullshit. Ah, yes. It says ethical, like hacking into people's PCs and text messages and, inv and committing invasions of privacy. Bullshit. That's <laughs> 
you, you are dirty. I, we are going to expose you. Um, Here's a question, though. Like, why would you even bother trying to hide this? I guess because Goldfells would go on to become, like, a, you know, spoke out against what the government was doing. Yeah, maybe. And if people found out that the person who created it is actually going, no, this is not right, might turn a few heads. Only very few people here know that, and I want to make sure it stayed that way. Our most ferocious enemy worked for us. A person I chose. Now you know it all. Discovered by the very tool it was all about. The irony oh, is the not irony. lost to me. <laughs> mm, all this irony. Oh, it's so delicious. <laughs> irony is so delicious. But well, you chose to disobey. I've warned you before. This will have consequences for you. Ooh. Okay, so I found out Goldfell's worked on Orwell. What does that really change, really? Oh, I got an achievement for that. Oh, nice. All these oh, futile works. Oh, must be some. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> we added to the system. Oh my God! That's amazing. <laughs> it's obedient. Oh my god! You are in very big trouble, Mr. Dome. <laughs> Please! Mr. Mr. Dome, Dome was my father! My father. <laughs> Call me the... <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Okay, there must be like some cool optional stuff that you could find out. Maybe we, if we used up all the other data channels, we wouldn't even be following this. Yeah, you could you could potentially never find this out. That's really cool. Oh, you s no! Oh, but Gunfire Aaron's PC's offline. Motherfuckers.